I forgot to mention that this mod might conflict with other mods, which will cause your game uh, to crash or not load up at all. Because I did try it on my other uh, downgraded San Andreas, and it has mods installed already. And I tried installing this on it or in it with it, whatever, and it wouldn't uh, run. It would keep crashing. Before I even get to the the main menu, it would crash at the intro. So make sure I recommend doing this or trying this on a freshly uh, downgraded San Andreas first. And then after that works out, then you can add other mods. So if it crashes, you can always take out the mod that you recently, most recently installed or whatever. But um, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there because if your game crashes, then it may be because you either did something wrong during this process or you have other mods that don't work with this mod. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Alright, so someone asked if I could do a tutorial on how to install GTSA DirectX 2.0. Uh, it's a graphics mod if you guys don't know. Uh, this is how it looks. This has uh, examples on this website. So I'll link this in the description below. Um, if you want it, just click download, and then it'll bring you this. Just click start download. Now, uh, when you download it, it will come in a RAR file like this. You basically just want to extract it to a folder like this. And I'm going to use the single player one because I this is for multiplayer. I'm not sure what MTA stands for, but yeah, I'm just going to use the single player one. And... Uh, after that, you want to make a copy of your uh, game. Make sure it's version downgraded to version 1.0. If you don't uh, know how to downgrade it or if you haven't downgraded it yet, uh, I'll have a link in the description below for my tutorial on how to downgrade your game because you need it, uh, a version 1.0 to mod it. So here's my um, copy. If you want to make a copy of your version 1.0 folder, just right click copy and then right click paste and i already have mine right here it's modded it has or downgraded i mean it has two gtsa uh exes and it has g input all that clio so this is uh all good it's it has no mods installed really not like uh other like project 2d effects stuff like that because um i'm not sure if it's compatible if other mods are compatible with this um, mod. So this is like a fresh downgraded uh, GTA San Andreas. So I'm going to go to the single player one. And I'm going to go to high because I know my PC can handle high. Um, but if you want low or whatever medium, that's fine too. It really depends on your uh, PC specs. So you just go to whichever one you want and then highlight all of them. And then right click copy and then just paste it. Then replace the files. And then you want to go to depth of field, copy these two, and then paste them. Not sure what bonus version for create screens or screens is, but if you want to try those, feel free to. I'm not going to. And then if you have Windows 10, you want to highlight these two but if you're going to use it for uh, multiplayer as well then highlight the last one as well but I'm only using single player so I'm highlighting, highlighting only the two files and then you want to run this as admin or administrator or whatever and then it'll, this will pop up it'll say press any key to continue and then this box will pop up just click ok It may take a while to um, run the game, but it's because it has a mod. So as you can see in the top left corner, it says EMB series 0 0.313 for GTA San Andreas. And then we're just going to start the game.
And it says, press shift and enter keys to show editor at the top left corner. And the cutscene looks years like on the East Coast, different. It was time to go home. Welcome to Los Santos Airport. So, We're just going to skip it and get right into the gameplay. So as you can see, it looks different. Um, it's pretty much it. It's kind of... I don't like the motion blur. It's like too much for me, but let me know if you guys want any other more uh, tutorials. Uh, or if you're experiencing any issues, just comment down below.